so vitamin k i actually made a video on vitamin k but um when i rewatched it it wasn't making sense to me so i was like let me record it again okay because everything that is to be recorded has to be classic because you don't know from where people be watching it around the world okay so i tried to look at vitamin k cycle now vitamin k cycle is all about how vitamin k you eat it in diet it is absorbed in quinone quinone is converted to what hydroquinone okay from hydroquinone to what epoxide then from epoxide to vitamin k again okay so that to be reutilized again all right that's a cycle so in talking about this vitamin k cycle we get to talk about the quinone just like i said height is converted to hydroquinone then from hydroquinone to what it is converted to what vitamin k epoxide so they said that with structures i think they said with structures the food question they said that with structures you should explain vitamin k cycle so after talking about everything you now decide which cycle to actually learn how to draw okay so i'm actually trying to look this one is perfect to learn how to draw all right so you could pause this video and draw this one somewhere okay so that i'll use it for explanation so it might actually get dirty so let's look at the overview what's well, in that vitamin k is what the cycle is a series of biochemical processes that recycle vitamin k all right so it is now it's now enable vitamin k to participate in multiple reactions so you use it it still comes again participate in what multiple reactions right particularly it to participate in what synthesis of what gluten factors in blood okay so for the vitamin K cycle, um, yeah, we'll alternate between different pictures because not all the pictures has everything, okay? So, all right, let's start. For the vitamin K quinone, the initial form of vitamin K is what? The one that is absorbed from diet is actually quinone, okay? So this is normal vitamin K. You intake it in food, all right? You have the normal vitamin K that's quinone, all right? So primarily, um, we have what phyloquinone, that's vitamin K1, can be derived from plants. Then we have menalquinone, that's vitamin K2. This one can be derived from what amino animal products and fermented foods. So what is the role of this vitamin K? This form is converted into its active form to participate in carboxylation reactions. Okay. So now let's look at the active form. So this vitamin K quinone will be what converted to what vitamin K hydroquinone and that process is actually what reduction okay so we are saying what vitamin K reductase that's VKOR where is it then writing what VKOR or VKR is vitamin K epoxide reductase okay so this one will reduce what vitamin K quinone to vitamin K hydroquinone and this is known as the active form of what vitamin K. Okay. So what is the rule? Sorry, there's an R here. This active form acts as a cofactor for what? Gamma glutamide carboxylase enzyme. So you can see this is what? Gamma glutamide what? Carboxylase enzyme. Gamma glutamide. This, this is the reduced form. It's different, different images, all right? So you actually have different, different form, okay? So for this image, this is a activate this is a normal vitamin k so it will be reduced to what vitamin k hydroquinone which is not labeled you can actually form your own this thing so this one is a cofactor what's a cofactor cofactor is a non-proteinous molecule that will basically aid an enzyme which is usually proteinous to function better okay so we are at the third stage now let's look at the, the uh, first stage now now for the carboxylation reactions now this gamma glutamide carboxylase would now use the activated vitamin k that's what vitamin k hydroquinone to carboxylate glutamic acid residues on specific proteins converting them to what gamma carboxyglutamic acid residues okay so what is the function this modification is crucial for what biological activation of, of several biological activities of several proteins including clothing factors so you can see what it is important for your clothing factors to function 
without this reaction your protein factors will not be able to clot blood okay so closing closing factors like what factors 2 factors 8 factors 9 factors 10 okay and also other proteins involved in bone metabolism okay then after doing all of this it is now oxidized back to the normal vitamin k you know vitamin k was reduced so for it to become vitamin k again it has to be what the opposite is just oxidation okay so uh, the byproducts that's during the carboxylic reaction vitamin k hydroquinone is oxidized back to what vitamin k epoxide okay so you have what oxidized back to vitamin k epoxide you get it so it's looking like this image is kind of nice but this one too is nice okay so you have vitamin k epoxide back to vitamin k so let's look at it state back to vitamin k now so regeneration of the vitamin k we know now so vitamin k epoxide reductase converts what vitamin k sorry vitamin k okay that's the enzyme there sorry that's the enzyme there vitamin k epoxide reductase so this actually the best image to learn how to draw this is the best image okay so this vitamin k epoxide reductase converts vitamin k epoxide back to vitamin k quinone and this will now complete the cycle okay so what is the importance of this cycle of course it helps the blood clotting so vitamin k is essential for activation of blood clotting factors which are necessary for what blood coagulation if not when you wound you just be bleeding without stopping okay now without sufficient vitamin k Blood clotting is impaired. Now, this will lead to an increased risk of bleeding. Okay. Then bone health. Carboxylation of, carboxylation of osteocalcin, which is a protein involved in bone mineralization, requires vitamin K. So, adequate vitamin K levels are associated with what improved bone health. Your bones will be healthy, your bones will be strong, and they will reduce risk of what? Fractures. Vascular health. Um, matrix GLA protein which inhibits vascular calcification also requires vitamin k for activation so calcification is like deposition of fat vascular is blood vessels okay so that's the protein that prevent um uh, calcification is deposition of calcium sorry so the protein that prevents calcium from being deposited in blood vessels need vitamin k for its action okay so this helps to maintain your va your your blood vessels to be healthy okay and it prevents the deposition of calcium so everybody watching this video has already know the implication of if calcium is deposited in your blood vessels it make them very hard and not flexible again okay so i think this is a very better video on vitamin k deficiency even me we record down i like i like the way this sound okay so vitamin k deficiency uh, vitamin k cycle looking at the yeah the quinone the hydroquinone the epoxide and back to the quinone. Beautiful.